Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Sashi E. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick and easy video just showing you guys how I detangle my hair with one product. So right now, y'all, my hair is a little bit on the dry side. <laughs> my hair needs a lot of TLC, honey. It is dry. We got some knots and stuff going on, honey. Some single strand knots. You name it, I got it, okay? So as you guys can see, I need some much needed TLC right now. Um, it's been about a week and a half since I washed my hair, so a wash day is more than overdue. I cannot run my fingers through my hair or and nothing like that. And also y'all, you know I'm tender headed a little bit. So my scalp is a little bit on the tender side, so I decided to just do a quick detangling before I proceeded with my wash day. So to detangle, I am going Going to be using aloe vera I use half of the leaf the rest I'm gonna be using it for my face but yeah this is all the aloe vera that I need and not much at all it stops about right here just to give you guys a reference if you cannot see and this is all I'm gonna be needing you guys because I'm gonna be using the hot water to help me out today so yeah I'm not gonna need too much of this so I hope you guys enjoy this video let's get started all right guys so as you can see my hair is quite dry but no worries we're about to fix that so first things first I do like to follow up with some warm water I feel like the water does the majority of the work to be honest it kind of relaxes my hair it makes my hair a lot more manageable and as you guys can see it is not as dry anymore also if you look closely you can see that I'm able to remove some of the knots that I currently have with the water so now I'm gonna section my hair off I've sectioned my hair in about eight sections because it's just way easier for me to work in sections now I'm gonna get my aloe vera and I'm gonna focus on my roots first and I'm gonna make sure I really get that in because my roots are super duper thick you guys so I like when there's a lot of the aloe vera on my roots and then I am going to put some of that in the palm of my hands and then I'm going to apply it to my hair strands and really make sure I work that in you guys I love the slip that the aloe vera provides I feel like my tangles kind of just melts away when I use the aloe vera and also the shine that it provides as well as the nutrients is just really amazing for my hair after I've applied the aloe vera to my strands I like to go in with finger detangling you guys I like to do this first before I use any type of detangling tool just so that if there's any major knots I can get to it first and I could gently detangle before going in with the tool so now I am going in with my wide tooth comb this is probably one of my favorite tools to use um, between this and my curl mix brush and I just start from the ends you guys and just a really take my time and work my way from my ends to my roots So this is the curl mix brush that I actually mentioned earlier. I like this and my wide tooth comb about the same. I usually just pick whichever one I see first and that's the one that I use. But as you guys can see that brush glided right through my hair from roots to ends. So that's how you really really know your hair is detangled when you're able to use your wide tooth comb from your roots to your ends or your brush from your roots to your ends and the tools just glide right through. So now I'm on to my second section, you guys, and I'm just doing the exact same thing. I'm applying the aloe vera directly to my scalp first, and then I like to do a little massage, and then I apply it right to my hair strands. And as I said, y'all, usually my knots just really start to melt. My hair becomes very nice and soft. The slip on this is amazing, which is great for detangling. 
with this section I did actually run into a few knots as you guys can see here so I had to kind of figure out the best way to get those knots out without ripping out my hair and this is why I like to finger detangle first because if I would have gone in with a tool I would have risked pulling out my hair so as you guys can see I had to tug down on that knot and then my hair was able to be released and free so yeah guys sometimes you got to play around with your hair to see the best way to actually remove those knots without actually pulling out your hair so yeah guys I continue to just finger detangle this section work my way through my hair it almost looks like I'm shingling my hair like when you do a wash and go it's pretty much the same thing that I'm doing but I'm really just trying to get out as many knots as possible and then I go in with my wide tooth comb from my end to my roots and I pretty much just use the comb until I am able to comb through my hair all the way from the roots to the end without it snagging. Alright guys, so just another pro tip when detangling your hair, always make sure that your hair is saturated. My hair dries very quickly you guys, so my hair did start to dry up. And as you guys can see, my hair is super detangled and moisturized and my curls are popping. So now what I'm going to do you guys, I'm going to take the rest of the aloe vera gel and I'm just going to apply that all throughout my scalp you guys and just massage that in. I don't don't want to waste any of the gel so the best thing to do is just use the excess and just massage my scalp. Alright guys, so I just wanted to come back and show you all my hair. Aloe vera is still in my hair right now. I haven't rinsed it out yet because I am going to follow up with my wash day. This is about to be the quickest wash day of my life because I'm just going to be going in with the Maya Organic Sea Moss Anti-Shedding Shampoo and also the TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask and that's about to be it you guys. As you guys can see my hair is super moisturized. It's very shiny you guys as well. And it just looks really thick, really full, and really healthy. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it was a super quick and easy one, but I really hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to thumbs up this video, leave me a comment, smash that subscribe button, and turn on your bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!